Welcome back to part 13 of my King Harold Godwinson game. We are just about at the age that my father drowned, uh, 23, we're 22 currently, um, actually already have the architect trait unlocked, that's pretty quick, not sure what I'm going to be doing after that, but We've had two daughters, uh, they both got the inheritable trait from our wife. Uh, we're both chaste, so I'm not sure exactly how many kids we're going to be having. Uh, but hopefully we can at least manage to have one son at some point. Uh, one of the things that I would like to do is create the English culture. Uh, we're not going to be hybridizing with Norman. It just doesn't seem practical. Angevin, that's what it gives you. Um, so I think the way that we're going to do this is probably just diverging culture. Uh, I'm mostly just doing this for kicks. There's really no point. Um, all of our land is Anglo, and all of our vassals and all of our family is Anglo, so it really just makes a lot more sense to remain Anglo-Saxon. But, you know, just for, like, role-playing, I guess, purposes, um, I think I'm going to diverge my culture eventually and form English. It's called Neo-English by default, but uh, I think I'll just probably rename it English. Uh, just something that I would kind of like to do for fun, I guess. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing much expanding in this game overall. I'll probably just... Uh, get enough land that we can actually form this this empire title about 23 more counties so we'll get we'll finish getting this back from Denmark we'll probably grab um, the little duchy claim that we have in Scotland and we'll probably work our way through Ireland and then that should most likely be enough I'm gonna continue upgrading the buildings in my capital Um, yeah, as soon as I finish getting this claim, I'm going to revoke that from him, and that'll be my tenth. It's absolutely massive. He's pledging loyalty to me, but it's not going to make any difference. Cat rejection. Oi, give my cat here. Okay. <laughs> Hey, we got Athletic, though. That's really good. Uh, this is just my friend. 45 stress. It's quite a bit. Uh, athletic and strong. Hopefully not going to lose this character. Uh, you never really know, though, in this game. So I'm kind of just waiting on Chronicle writing. 11 days. Okay, not really waiting on it anymore then. Um, like that's been more than 11 days. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we are in high medieval era already, or I could finish getting these. Don't care too much about them really. Um, so maybe I'll just go into for heraldry. We can get high partition. Uh, a lot of good stuff in this one actually. Divine right, multiple claims in a single war, uh, a lot of good benefits. Knighthood also, some good benefits. We do need hoardings, bowmen, crossbowmen eventually, trebuchets eventually. Um, yeah, I think I'll just go for heraldry here. Uh, so now we can finally declare this duchy war. Um, we have access to a couple strong allies. He doesn't have any allies. We have a lot more gold. We have a lot more army in general, so this should be pretty straightforward. Also, we're fighting for land that's a lot closer to my capital than it is his, so... 
I'm not going to call my allies, but they're there if we need them. Aqueduct. That's good. So he decided to raise his army right here, actually. Uh, okay. Chance to end it right away. So my cousin... A stress break, but it's completed for sure that way. So I'm not sure why I have architect already and then it's not unlocked here. I think I'll just click that though. I guess I probably don't need to, but I'll just go for it. Um, now the question becomes do I want to stay in this tree or not? Uh, I wouldn't mind getting the strong abilities here. I wouldn't mind spending some time in diplomacy. We are really, really young, 23 or 24, so I could go and get like a whole nother tree here. Uh, it probably makes more sense to go down and get Scholar though, if I'm going to do a full other tree. Yeah, let's just switch, let's just switch here. Okay, so I'm going to go and fight him before anything else. And then we'll continue sieging down the rest of the land here. It's a bit of a walk. Okay, so we got our free extra perk. Uh, I'll just go for demand payments from hooks. No point in getting meritocracy. Okay, so we destroyed his army. I have to walk all the way back. Okay, oh, demand payments. I guess we can just use these, hey? Might as well. Yeah, let's do that. Unfortunately, we can only hold 9 out of 9 now. I thought we had one more. We did lose some stewardship uh, heading into scholarship focus instead of domain focus. We'll eventually get more once we get learn on the job. That will provide us with some stewardship. Uh, it's okay for us to be one above our domain limit, though. That's not that big of an issue. Let's do this as well. Um, my knights. Sure. Okay. Sixty-eight percent. Okay, that's not bad. Once we siege this down, I think we'll probably have the win, or if not the win, then close to it. My wife and queen. Yeah. So her being gay and chaste, I'm not sure exactly how many more kids we're going to get out of here. So we might end up having to play one of our daughters, which is fine. Is there another one here? Oh, geez, there is. Okay. I'm gonna go and get him off of my land, though. There we go. Uh, so we take those personally. We're gonna take that duchy title as well. Uh, I was originally planning on giving it back to one of my bastard children who were in the house Cornwall. I'm not sure actually what went and happened to them. Uh, we could give it to this guy. His wife is too old to have kids at this point, so we'll just get it back from him when he dies. Uh, but this is my aunt's kid, my cousin. He's not really good at anything, but he's in my family, so let's just give it to him, I guess. Congratulations to you. So we'll get rid of you guys. Uh, that makes our kingdom look a lot nicer, not having that eyesore there. 
So we have all of the de jure of England and Wales, and we have the Isle of Man in Scotland. Nice to get that all under our control there. It's another potential house, um, cadet branch of our dynasty that will be formed. Uh, hopefully he outlives his wife and then remarries and then maybe has kids. If not, we'll just get the land back. I don't think... Is, oh, is that his actual heir? His father? Uh, either way, when he dies, then we'll just get it from him, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to continue upgrading my capital. And probably look to declare this war pretty soon. I wouldn't mind getting that duchy as well. Can't get a claim on it. The Pope likes this guy. He's quite zealous uh, anyways. Um, if we are going down here, then eventually we'll be able to just buy a claim on it with this interaction here. That's a little ways in the future, though. So there's our claim on that land. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just wait on that. We're, we're at our limit anyway, and he's not 100% to accept it, so we'll just keep that in our back pocket for now. Yeah. Nothing we can do here. Uh, Sherry has max opinion of us, and we can't seduce her or romance her, so we just basically have to wait and hope that we end up uh, getting a son out of her. Um, or we could always go the bastard route. It's a possibility. Uh, I don't have any women in our court. She's not quite of age. Uh, we could do it in the future, but she has ugly, which is something I'd rather avoid. Uh, so it just, yeah, seems kind of unlikely. So I'm going to put them both into diplomacy. Find a new wet nurse. Good. Okay. Let you raise your kid there. Oh, nice. That's a well timed event. I was probably due for a stress break soon, so that's good to get out of the way. So I think I'm going to go ahead and probably just declare this war right now. I don't see any reason really to delay it. She's pretty broke. Uh, her ally is my vassal. Her other ally is in Poland and is not very strong. I think I will actually just call my allies to this war. Um, might as well make it a little bit easier. She's got enough troops that it'll just help us finish up a little bit faster. It'll take them probably about a minute to get here, so I'll just start sieging while I wait for them. Yeah, she's missing uh, this vassal, has almost 4k troops, so that's quite a significant ally for her. So finally, rest in peace to our uncle, I believe this was. Um, pretty evil man who raised a pretty evil daughter. Uh, she's already got a couple children. Um, yeah, I might have to... Hmm, maybe I'll just wait on that a sec. We could depose her and get that kid put in already. Uh, this guy's just a thane, but he's a really good marshal. This guy's a duke. Maybe we should put him in there. Yeah, sure. We'll give you the the go at it. Here are our allies. Um, and then we'll go and 
beat their armies up a little bit. So let's go get you off this. Okay. So we get our marshal leading the troops here. And then we'll just start sieging down whatever's in the war target. I could go for the capital, it's pretty close by. But I'm probably gonna have to lose some troops on the way up there. It's like our allies are just taking care of business here. That's good. Allow us to keep doing that. Uh, I'm gonna grab this first. I'm already raising my potential heir. So we'll just raise both of our daughters for now. Uh, 31. This is for Jerusalem. Maybe we'll uh, follow in our father's footsteps and participate in a crusade here. So we don't have many options. Uh, I think I'm going to pick her. So this is the Earl of Dorset. He already has an heir, so this is just his daughter. Hopefully he gets married matrilineally, but probably won't. Not much we can do about that, though. Uh, yeah, screw it. Oh, my allies are absolutely bloodthirsty just hunting these Scots down. Here is Army of Cuneo, so that came up from Italy. Uh, I don't think that's enough to turn the tide of the battle, though. This is a kind of sucky event. 94 stress, 47. Not what you want to see. Uh, I think this is in the... yeah, okay, let's get that too then. Yeah, this should be the end of it once we get this. We're going to get that first, right? Yeah, perfect. So we got a sword, but I don't think it's going to be better than ours. Um, so I'm just going to give it to one of my vassals in my family. Uh, It'll just become a better knight for me. There is that. So they are House Dunkeld, which is the uh, Queen of Scotland's house. Uh, so we don't hold any of this land personally. Uh, he's in the other duchy. So I think we're just going to give her her duchy title back. We're just going to free all these guys. Be free, be free. Okay, there we go. And we'll give her the duchy title back. Lothian. And now she likes us. Um, Adulterer and Kinslayer. Who did you kill? You killed your own sister? You executed your sister? Wow. That's a big move. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe let's just see what happens. Let's let her have her child. I don't want their line to end. Um, so if she has another kid, that's going to help. This is a bastard, so it's not really going to accomplish anything. Yeah, a couple more months, we'll see what's what. A little scoundrel. Okay, I'll probably eventually be taking this guy's land too. We'll try to continue expanding up there. Uh, I'm eventually going to go for Ireland as well, but it's just something I'm kind of delaying. Other wars seem a little bit more, uh, a little bit higher 
can't think of the word. Uh, I want to do them more. Uh, finish getting this land from Scotland. I really want to get this. I don't like having their land in two pieces there. So this will be my next target, the Duchy of Strath... Strathclyde? Yeah. Um, anyways, I'm going to continue this on in the next part. Thank you for watching this. Uh, if you've been enjoying it, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.